This video is going to explain um, the and demonstrate uh, the new way new ways to navigate through our libraries. So here's my menu: utilities, library maintenance, pattern library, and I'm going to hit move. Okay. Now, on this screen, we have our list of catalogues, pattern catalogues. Um, and we can scroll down through this list either by tap, 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 or by using a fast way to scroll is to use the scroll bar here. The one that's highlighted is the one that we see on the screen. Um, I'm going to go here to my background catalogue. Now, this at the moment, I can see nine thumbnails per page, which was the standard up until this new version of IQ. If I want to see more patterns in my catalogues, if I sweep the screen upwards, it reduces the size of the thumbnail so I can see more on the screen. If I want to see less, then I sweep the screen downwards and it will take me right down to one. Let's put it back to nine. Now to see the other pages, I can still tap, tap, tap on my arrow, just as we always did, which moves the patterns nine at a time To move faster, I can simply sweep the screen like this to get to where I want. Flicking or sweeping the screen will take you faster through the catalogue. I can also do a quick search by, if I know my pattern begins with M, for instance, if I touch M, it will take me immediately to any patterns that begin with M. And here they are. That's the beginning of the M patterns. So let's do this S. It's a quick way to do it. Um, remember too, the um, copyright symbol here, if I touch that, it will tell me who the designer was and where I can buy that pattern. To get rid of that information, just touch the screen again. Alright, now we have another way to search for patterns. If I touch this search button, okay, up comes the keyboard and I can put in the name of a pattern. So for instance, if we if I'm looking for a feather, I can go feather, enter, and it finds all the patterns which have feather somewhere in their name. Doesn't matter if they're capitalized or, or not, it will find any pattern that has the name feather somewhere in its name. Alright? Another way to search is to um, well, let's let's go back. Let's exit out of that. Okay, let's do search. To find, if I know that a pattern begins with um, the letters FLO, for instance, I'm not quite sure whether this pattern was called flower or floral or something like that, but I know it begins with flow something. I can just put FLO dot enter and it's found all the patterns that actually end with those letters FLO I did FLO dot so it found every pattern with flow at the end that isn't what I wanted so I'm going to search again I want to find the designs that have FLO at the beginning so I'm going to hit the dot first then FLO enter and it finds all the patterns that have FLO somewhere at, at the beginning. And it searched all the libraries for all the patterns that begin with FLO. Now if I just simply know that this pattern begins with a T, then I can go dot T. And it finds me every single pattern that begins with a T. So those are, those are different ways to search for patterns. And it will always put the search results in a search results catalogue, which is at, the top, is a, it's at the top of the list. All right. Okay, now I have found all my patterns that begin with a T. Maybe I want to move some of these, like these feather patterns. Maybe I want to move those into my feathers catalogue if I'm not sure they're there already. So I'm going to touch this, 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 and this. They're all feathers. Now, I'm going to sweep the screen to, to see the rest of my patterns. Here is two more feathers. I'm selecting those. As long as I keep sweeping the screen, 
IQ will remember the ones that I have already selected. Here's another feather one. Here's another feather, another one, another one. So I'm selecting all the ones that are feathers because I want to move them. Um, these are unusual feathers, so yeah, I'll select those two. All right, I've selected all the ones I want, so now I hit move. Would you like to leave copies of these patterns in this catalog? Uh, no, I don't want to. Okay, select the destination catalog. And in this case, I'm going to put them in a new catalog, which is already highlighted. So I'll select, and I'll just call this... Uh, oh, oh, oh dear, uh, that's funny spelling, that's not right. So I'm going, I want to get rid of all those letters. We have a clear button here now, as well as a delete on the, sh on the screen. If I do delete, it will do one at a time. Clear will get rid of the whole thing. I'm just going to give this catalog name a number. All right, enter. Now, all those patterns that I selected are here in one, two. So as long you can select as many patterns as you like to move, as long as you use this action. If you use this, you cannot. If you use the arrow, you can select this, but as soon as you use the arrow to navigate to another page, oh, and I press the wrong button, as soon as you press the arrow to navigate to another page, it will have forgotten. As long as you're using the sweeping action, it will remember all the patterns you've selected. Okay? So that's a great way, that's a really speedy way. That's really useful when you download a lot of patterns and they come into your downloads folder. You can organize them, move them to where you want them to go very quickly and easily. Um, also, we scroll right down to the bottom of the list. Here's something new. We have a recycle bin. If I touch that, it has all the patterns in which I have deleted. So it's one last chance for you to say, oh, I deleted that by accident. You can come here to the recycle bin, select the one you mistakenly deleted and put it back where you want it. Um, eventually those will drop out because it only holds so many. It doesn't keep adding there. It will drop, drop them out. Uh, yeah, so I hope that helps you understand the new navigation features of iQ.